Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial by Davies Media Design. My name is Michael Davies and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a miniature effect using GIMP. This is GIMP version 2.10.12 which at the time of this tutorial is the latest version of GIMP. But of course, before I get into that, I want to direct you guys over to my website at daviesmediadesign.com. As always, we have tons of GIMP video tutorials as well as help articles on here, so definitely check that out. You can also enroll in my GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. And you can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting gimpschool.com. Here is the photo I'll be using for today's tutorial. This is a free photo I got from Pixabay. You can just click the free download button here and click download. I went with 1920 by 1310. So here is the final composition. This is pretty easy to do. And I'm actually going to be using Gimmick QT for this, which is a free app you can download for GIMP. It's really easy to install. And I'll include a link to the installation in the description of this video. But once you have Gimmick QT installed, here is our original image. So this is the one I downloaded for free from Pixabay. All you have to do is grab the crop tool and I'm just going to click and drag my crop across the entire photo here. I'm mainly just trying to crop out the sky and the blue from the sky. So there's a little bit of blue going on in this part of the background here. There's still some going on here, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep some of that. And I do have my crop set to rule of thirds right now. You can always change that. And I'm just making sure this object is pretty much centered. This is of course the Capitol building. So I'll click and that is going to crop everything out that I don't want. Once I have everything cropped, I just need to come over and duplicate my main photo layer. So let me duplicate that layer. I'll name this one Miniature, and I'll just name this one Original. So I'll clicking on my Miniature building here. Once I've applied the crop, now I'm going to use Gimmick QT to add this sort of blurring effect that's going to make this have that Miniature effect. So I'm gonna come over here and go to Filters, Gimmick QT. And up here in the search box, I just typed blur. And one of the options that came up was under degradations and it was called blur depth of field. This is the one I wanna use. So essentially what we're doing is we're recreating that scenario where you know if this were a true miniature model or something, you would have a photographer who had a macro lens sort of you know getting up close and taking a photo and so there would be a very shallow depth of field in that photo and that's what's giving this that miniature effect is we're recreating that macro lens. And so keeping that in mind here, first off what I wanna do with my effect is I wanna move it over a little bit so that it's properly centered on our main object or our focal point, which is going to be the Capitol building here. The second thing I wanna do is I wanna increase the radius of this. So I'm gonna come over here and just increase this a little bit. And as you can see, as I do that, it is stretching out the area that's in focus and that's exactly what I wanna do. I'm basically trying to make it look like my camera was focused on the Capitol building and everything else was blurred out because of a hypothetical almost like 50 millimeter lens or something. So I'm just going to continue to extend this first radius out. I do want it to go a little bit off the page border here. So that looks pretty good right there. I'm actually going to adjust the center up a little bit. You can either manually do it by clicking and dragging or you can use these options right here. So the only other setting I'm gonna to touch here is the sharpness setting, and that's going to do two things. It's going to both sharpen our image and it's going to extend that depth of field. It's going to make it a little bit deeper so we can see a little bit more of our main focal point here, as well as maybe some of the more residual or peripheral objects in the image. So now I'm gonna come over here to sharpness and just turn this up and you'll see what I'm talking about. So that area is now increasing a little bit there. If you want to increase the blur amount, you can increase the blur amplitude here. I think it's pretty good just by default. It doesn't hurt to turn it up a little bit, uh, but I do recommend matching all my other settings on here. So I'll hit apply, and that is going to add the blur to that layer we're on, our active layer, so I'll click OK. The next thing I'm gonna do here to try to make this look more convincing as a miniature model setup is I'm going to increase the saturation or just bring out some of the colors in this. Usually when you're looking at you know, some sort of model village, it's going to be a little bit brighter than an actual photograph. So to do this, I'm gonna come over here and go to colors, saturation, and I'm just gonna turn the saturation up to about right here, so a little bit under 1.5 and click OK. I do need to repeat that saturation on the original layer because we are going to mask some of this out and that's going to reveal the original layer. I'll get into that in a second. 
but I'm just going to repeat that on the original layer by coming over here and going to Filters, Repeat Saturation. And I'll come back to the miniature layer. Now I need to add some contrast to this. This is going to be the last image adjustment here. So to do that, I'll go to Colors, Curves, and I'll just click here to create a point in the middle of my curve. And I'm just going to click on the shadow parts of my image. And I'm just going to drag that down a little bit. And then I'm going to click near the highlights and drag that up. So that'll add contrast. So here's a before, here's an after. I can tone that down just by bringing up the black point here a little bit. And I'll click OK. And I do need to repeat that on our original image layer. So I'll just come over here to Filters, Repeat Curves. And now both of these will have relatively the same adjustments. All right, now I need to mask back in any parts of the image that got blurred that we didn't want to be blurred. So I'll come over here to our miniature layer and right click and go to Add Layer Mask. And under Initialize Layer Mask 2, I'll choose White and click Add. Then I'll grab my paintbrush tool. I'll hold Control and zoom in. And my color is set to black for my paintbrush. The hardness is set to 25, so it's a fairly soft brush and I can increase or decrease the size of my brush using the left or right brackets on my keyboard. All right, so there you can see I've masked back in the spire here because I think that that should be in focus. It shouldn't be blurred. And the last thing I'm going to do is the top of this building here because I also think that this should not be blurred. And obviously, the more time you spend on this, the better it's going to look in the end. But if I hold control and zoom out, now our Capitol building looks like a miniature replica. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, you could subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash daviesmediadesign. You can visit my website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can enroll in my best-selling GIMP 2.10 Masterclass from Beginner to Pro Photo Editing on Udemy. And you can enroll in any of my Skillshare classes by visiting gimpschool.com. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.